trolley jacks are really expensive. So I picked up this used hydrolift trolley jack for 100 bucks off Craigslist. It's been sitting outside for a long time. It's also too big for my lift. Today we're gonna try to restore it, clean it up, make it work, and modify it to fit my lift. Let's hook it up, see what it does. Instead of using the electric motor, we just plug it into the compressed air and then press down on the bell and it should go up. It helps when you turn on the air. on those parts. I was going to paint this stuff. No, I could just go buy new hardware, but the hardware is expensive and we're trying to do this on a budget. I've got another idea of coating these that hopefully won't come off. We'll get to that next. First, I need to modify this thing to actually fit the lift. You see these wheels? They're just there to be able to move this jack back and forth on the tracks on the lift. And then the weight is actually supported by the brackets on the side here. Now the problem is my lift is only 87 centimeters from inside to inside of these rails. The new jack is about 90. Did it up there. That just leaves the hardware, which obviously the original finish is pretty much gone on them. If I painted them, they would just flake off. So I'm going to try to do something called hot bluing. I've never done that before. I don't know if it's actually gonna work with these because they're pretty 
old bolts and they're not in the best shape, but we're gonna try it. And what this involves is using a torch and some oil. And most people seem to use linseed oil or vegetable oil. I don't wanna go into the kitchen and ask Susan for her cooking stuff. So I'm gonna try WD-40. And hopefully it doesn't just explode. The internet made this look so simple, but it's really not working the way I thought it was gonna work. I mean, look at this. That doesn't look black to me. It's kind of a bronzy gold color and it's sticky. I thought I was getting up to the right heat, but I'm obviously not. I'm, I'm doing something wrong. If you know what I'm doing wrong, let me know in the comments below. This is not working the way I thought it was supposed to. So I went out and I bought some new hardware. I also picked up this stuff, super blue. Uh, this is the stuff that they use to turn guns into that gunmetal gray color from raw metal and it's supposed to give a little bit of corrosion protection. How the super glue work on the bolts? If you don't clean it out of the threads, it kind of looks like it's rusting again, but it's actually just super glue in there. The shank, the head, all that looks pretty good. Nice black finish on them. So I think I've got all of my hardware here and that means it is time to reassemble the lift. I think I've got everything. To the lift. 